a 10 pounder. The 10 pound bass, I think is the mark that every fisherman wants to achieve. I think every fisherman, at least in their lifetime, will have one shot at catching a 10 pound bass. But the question is, will you make the right decisions to land that fish and get it in the boat? This week we are here with Bass Forecast at legendary 1010 Ranch in Northeast Texas for that one goal to catch a 10 pound bass. We are here this week with some awesome friends who are excited to begin this journey with me. It's incredible to be at a place where every single cast could produce the fish of a lifetime. And welcome to the Land of Giants Tour. Yes! Woo! Get her, Heidi. Get her, Heidi! Yes! Bam! Heidi with the net skills. Look at this girl. Oh my God. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the Land of Giants tour. We are back out here at 1010 Ranch with Wes, the giveaway winner. Got what, like four hours of sleep and now we are back out here on the water on a new lake today. This is called Home Place, or as I've so dubbed it Home Slice. So hopefully we catch a few slices of big ones. Uh, we kind of got out here before a lot of the other old folks uh, woke up from their slumbers. So hopefully we can get a few top water bites. I'm feeling good. The weather's about the same as it was yesterday, so if that's the case, you're probably gonna bite swim baits. If you missed yesterday's uh, episode, click up here in one of these corners, it will be linked. But uh, as you guys know, this trip is sponsored by Bass Forecast because they paid for this whole dang shindig. And so I'm gonna open a Bass Forecast for today for Scottsdale, Texas, where we are. We have an 8.1 on the rating. The major feeding time though is not in the morning. I don't see any shad spawn happening. I think we're kind of uh, you know post shad spawn here. Major time is 10.50 a.m. to 12.50 p.m. So we're going to, uh, of course, kind of plug around for a little while, then take a break around, you know, 8 to 9 a.m. and then head back out there. But if we click on presentation and such, it tells us fast is a high probability today with the number one lures being a frog, top water, and a swim bait, which is what I like to see. So we, uh, we got the boat in the water. They have super cool, like, pre-made boats out here oh, for you. And it looks like somebody was throwing the Dimiki Air Frog. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see y'all when we catch some stinking fish. Got him. There we go. First fish of the morning. A four, I'd say. I don't know. He didn't hit it that hard, really. But he's fighting good. Oh, no, he's, a, he's not quite a four. Oof. He's a good one, though. On the frog. Outside the pads. Bring it in. Yes, sir. Ugh. Good stuff. Ugh. That is a Florida strain bass right there. Got him right in the top of the mouth there. Beauty. Beauty McGee. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you for playing, friend. Go find your big sister, Samantha. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> yeah, like, like bent the, sh like bent the shaft. I don't know what happened there, but something happened. That's not good. There we go. That's what that's meant for, I guess. Let's the shaft bend backwards. Come on, fish. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's a bluegill, look at that. There's no way it's a bass. I'm gonna set the hook, but. No, it was a bass. <laughs> Just a little bass. Oh, there he is. Thank you, sir. For playing along with my charade. Get me all wet. 
I got some of his skin on my hook. <laughs> you got a fish! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you totally thought you were stuck. Dude, I legit thought I was stuck. Well, you pro it probably got you around a tree. But... Say, that thing was not moving whatsoever. All right, well, Wes's first one of the morning on the Senko, not a giant. But hey, it's a fish. I keep telling them we're only gonna catch big fish out here. And we keep getting small bites. As long as I'm not getting stuck. Yeah, that's true. Tanner said Eric caught a 10. Really? I don't, I don't believe him. He said it too nonchalantly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. That felt more fishy. Dude, like, I'm gonna just stop throwing a Senko. <laughs> Dude, I've never <laughs> face like this. Holy crap. Dude, these things aren't even like half a pound. No. That Cinco usually catches big ones. Is that a six inch? <laughs> what the heck? Oh gosh. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. That's a 10. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's where we're going tonight. Leaky's, Leaky's got him. Yeah. We're going there this afternoon through the evening. Holy cow. <laughs> Leaky's got a few big ones, dude. I feel like nobody's even caught like a five or a six at Leaky. It's just tens. Jumps, jumps straight to a ten. Well, after a plethora of small fish, we are going to head back in the truck. Go regroup back at the cabin because it is, uh, it's frustrating how many small fish we've caught. We did hear about a uh, ten pounder, another one, being caught by Eric at Leaky. So I'll roll some of the footage of that here. He's about to jump again. Oh, there's a surge. Get her, Heidi. Get her, Heidi. Yes! <laughs> Bam! Heidi with the net skills. Look at this girl. Oh, oh my Woo! gosh. Dude, that might be close to 10. Look at the golf ball eyes. She's fat. Look, okay, hang on, hang on. Heidi, look next. Just face the camera. <laughs> the thing could eat Heidi. Like, oh look at this thing. It's like, ah. So, yes, Eric caught another 10 at Leaky, and we have Leaky in the afternoon, but we are on home slice right now and home slice is not being a home slice to us it's being a it's being a stranger so we're gonna head back grab a few snacks grab a nice drink and uh we'll see y'all back at the cabin that is right it is fruit snack time it's really hard to open a bag of fruit snacks with one hand every uh trip to this ranch of course you've got to get your kosher dill halves <laughs> you can never forget those man that'd be a bummer if you did i'm gonna go Rub all those 10 pounders for good luck. Please, can I catch one of you? That'd be so cool. I'll take, I'll take you. Like, I don't, I don't need you. I'll take you. I prefer all of them though. That'd be great. You ready? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. You know what I'm gonna do to give it a little extra spunk? I'm gonna give it some dippy dip. All right. My gosh. There he is. Nope. <laughs> well, hey. It's a fish pretty quick. It felt, he, he bit it like a biggin though. Yeah. My friend, I am happy to have you. You give me content, but you are not the size that I would prefer. I've been using this new hook brand and they are amazing. All right, thanks buddy. First cast with the lizard. All right. Oh, a little one, it's a little one too. <laughs> Another little one. Good grief. That way I on the like, shank. I'll show you. Put like this in your skill. There you go. <laughs> See a Ted. Got him? Yep. Oh, it's another small one. <laughs> He's still on there. You're right there. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Watch my camera. He's got a fat belly too. And my camera, homie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Getting it all, all wet. Is he good? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll do some surgery on him. Yeah. See you, bud. All right. Oh, almost fell off the boat for a little bit. Wes almost fell off the boat. This is what the heat will do to you. Got him? Yep. Biggin? Oh, no, not a biggin. 
decent. Is he decent? Oh, oh two pounder. Two pounder. <laughs> there we go. Bring him in. Yes. That's your biggest fish of the trip so biggest far, right? Fish of the trip. All right. All right just over two pounds. We'll take it. How'd you say to do it? You said. So you got to get it right here. Yeah. And then you just got to go. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Heck yeah. Oh, let me get. Oh, stop. Let me get an Instagram story. There we go. They're biting, folks. It's just a matter of time. Mass forecast was not as on with the bait. No, number five was accurate. The the soft plastic. So number five out of twenty-seven is pretty good, but. The peak feeding time was very, very right. As soon as we got out here, the peak feeding time start. Boom. Fish, fish catches. That's him. Oh my. No, are you God, kidding me? Dude, are you serious? <laughs> dude, dude, your hook set. Dude, oh. <laughs> oh, dude. I thought that I was thought him. That was a 10. Oh my gosh. These fish are the most deceiving fish dude, known dude. to mankind. Oh, dude, look at these guys. Still mouth. your bigger one. What's in there? He's got a crawfish. Oh, no way. Dude. Wait, why are we throwing a purple worm? <laughs> They're eating crawfish. All right. Well. Okay, well, this, this might, this, <laughs> this might be a clue. I'm hoping this is a clue. Got him? Little one, though. I watched him come up with these. <laughs> that was pretty freaking cool. Heck yeah. I watched him just come up and just smack it. Right, oh, he, look at, look, he just spit out. Look in the water behind you, piece of crawfish. Huh. They're eating crawdaddies. We got them, we figured them out. Now we're the big ones. Really cool. So when you are fishing, you always wanna make sure that you, as I did a few minutes ago, are looking to see what the fish are eating, if, if possible. And that fish spit up a whole dang crawdad. So we switched over to uh, some craw imitation lures and Wes has already caught two since then. So it's a good sign. It's kind of a real important thing to do. Don't miss it. It's easy to overlook and just keep throwing whatever you're throwing when you could have even increased success changing it up. Big in? Fish, big fish, big. Really? Big. How big? Oh, maybe four pounder. Okay, hey, they're bigger. Okay, let's Look see. at this. Right. Look at this, hey. Hey, no. Ah, that's a three. Let's make a three pounder. Hey, you know what? Sorry, man. That's an upgrade. We'll take it. Come here, buddy. Look at that. They're starting to bite. There we go. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Thought you were talking like absolute giant. Oh, oh there's one. Oh, is, this, are you kidding me? Yep. Wow. It's like we're fishing on like a public lake right now. <laughs> well, one finally ate the jig. It's not the size that we desire. Esta es caliente afuera en el lago. Y mi amigo y yo uh, muchos pesca, pero no grande. Oh, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of TRF and the uh, Land of Giants tour. As you can tell, the uh, Land of Giants tour isn't being Super inviting to the Giants yet. Now there's two 10 pounders caught on our trip so far and plenty of fours to fives, but no Giants for Wes and I yet. Of course, the missed ones on last episode. And before we depart, I'm gonna kind of go over the gear that Wes actually kind of creamed me today. He caught uh, most of the fish today on the Pro TI with some 20 pound Seaguar flipping fluorocarbon and the 7.4 custom black speed stick, or no, the uh, custom, uh, what's it called? The TP1 black 7.4 heavy, little flipping combo. So that'll be linked below for you guys to check out as well as the exact craw and cinco he was using. Got any parting words? Maybe catch that 10 pounder, yeah. man. We'll see y'all next time in the next episode of TRF Land of Giants.